Hey, welcome back. In this video, I just want to explain the method of sections and how we can use it to solve truss problems in statics. So we've already done the method of joints. That's where we go joint by joint, drawing an individual free body diagram for each one, isolating it and doing the 2D statics particle equilibrium. Um, that's great if we want to find out the internal force in every member of a truss. But if we're asked, for example, to find just one member force or maybe a couple like if someone asks you to solve what is the internal force in FG well it would take forever to solve for A and then B and then C and you work your way the whole way across the method of sections is much faster and what we can do is we can pretty much solve for an internal force um, in only two steps so the first step is very similar to the method of joints so we just draw a free body diagram of the whole structure to find the support reactions and we do that by taking the sum of forces in the x direction, the sum of forces in the y direction, and the sum of forces about some point. So now for the second part of the method of sections, what we do is we section our truss. And this basically means just taking a virtual cut right through the truss and separating it into two different parts. When we do this, we want to make sure that we separate it definitely into two unique parts, and also that our virtual cut passes through the member that we're looking for. The other thing that we're looking at, so if we were looking for the member FG, the internal force in it, we would just pass a section something like this. This would separate into the left hand side and the right hand side. Another thing that we also have to make sure is that we don't pass through more than three members. So one, two, three. The reason being is that we have three equations of equilibrium and with those we can solve for a maximum of three unknowns. In this case the three unknowns would be the tensions or compressions in each of these members. So the free body diagram looks like this once we've sectioned it. And now when we want to solve for these three unknowns all we have to do is take either the left hand side or the right hand side and solve it using our three equations of equilibrium. We don't even need to solve both sides because you'll note that it, whatever the force is here in FG will be the same force as it is here in FG on this side. And we just use that knowledge knowing that this whole structure, if it's in equilibrium, that every individual member and part of the structure also has to be into equilibrium, in equilibrium. So knowing that, let's take a look at what the equation might look like if we were to solve uh, for FG just using the left hand side Free body diagram where we have three equations and three unknowns right our unknowns are FH FG and EG our knowns are AX AY and F1 so three unknowns three equations we can solve this um, and basically we just take sum of forces in the X direction just add up all of the components of uh, the forces that have an X component same thing sum of forces in the Y set those all to zero and then we just take the sum of moments about some point in this case it would be a and with that we'll be able to isolate for FH, FG, and EG, and then basically just solve the original problem, which was asking, you know, what is the mem what is the force here, the internal force in member FG? So that's just a brief introduction to how to use the method of sections. Um, in the next couple of videos, I'll go over a few examples using uh, actual numbers, and we'll actually be able to figure out what is the force and whether or not it's intention or compression. So I'll see you guys there.